All right. Just finish up a lift. Basically, what this video is is my brother and I are just going to begin to start tracking the process that we are going through in building our company. A little backstory: my brother and I, Nate, and he'll do some of these videos too. We're both. I'm at college, and he is back in our hometown, and we're building a business together. We've been doing this for about eight years, but each year, it basically takes up to a whole new level. Basically, we are trying to build a company, and we're trying to pursue God's purpose in that, and I think it'd be interesting just to be able to look back at all these videos when I'm 80 and see what went wrong, what we were going through, and remember the different the different parts, the small things that we experienced along the way. And if people like that, well, we're gonna post it and see what happens. I just finished up a lift with a buddy, and it was really good. One thing that he kind of pushed me, we were having a really good conversation, he asked me, what is the, the psychological meaning behind my lifting? Why do I do it? And I just in the last month started hitting kind of the daily again. Life had gotten crazy through an injury and I hadn't been daily in a while. And getting back into the daily of it has been amazing. But the reason I'm kind of doing it and I kind of, I hadn't really thought about it until he asked me this and I kind of was able to pinpoint well. It's keeping me sharp. It's kind of building that discipline back into parts of my life where maybe it hadn't been. And then, uh, what else did I say? I, we talked a lot about like the, the benefit of just getting a sweat on and pushing yourself to your limit on a daily basis as a man, what that means and the importance of it. Building that testosterone, building that discipline. And, uh, and then the other part is feeling good, the health benefits of it, uh, the, the longevity and then the productivity that comes from health. So kind of just the idea that you're gonna be a better businessman, a better man, a better father, a better husband, if if you're healthy. So I follow a lot of people online that talk about that. Andy Elliott um, is one of them. Alex and Mosey talks about it. That this is a big part. So that's kind of why I do it, plus, uh, just staying in shape is a, is a positive thing. But I'll show in this video, I'm heading to the studio. I'm an architecture and landscape design and uh, horticulture major here at Purdue. I'm pursuing that degree to continue to educate myself so I can be the best and the most educated in my field. And so when I go full time in the business, which I am, but like when I'm out of school and full time, full time in the business, um, I know more than 99% of other lawn care and landscape owners and uh, and just trying to create that edge. So the way our business is structured is I'm running front and back end, a lot of quoting, contracts, a lot of meetings, client interactions while my brother runs operations. He's with the crews, in the crews, operating, making sure machines are up and going. Uh, keeping the crews going on a daily basis at the shop every morning. And then he also does a lot of the on the site analysis for me to then design, which is very helpful. Uh, it's a really good balance. He enjoys it. I enjoy it. He's not going to college. And uh, I wish I wasn't going to college sometimes. That's just how it is. It's final season and it is stressing me out. So I'm going to talk more about that another time. The woes of school but we'll, we'll cut it here all right let me just get a quick look this is our design studio so this is what we spend a lot of time and other people spend a lot more time than i do in this studio so this is for landscape architecture everyone's sitting at their desk we got projects over there uh we got this sick presenters area um, everyone's working on some really cool projects. Working on seating designs with shade structures with uh, fire pits. This one's dope. These are really hard. Really hard to make. 
Dang, that's dope. So, we're gonna have some really, really cool stuff. Oh, that's sick. But just a quick look at what it looks like in an architectural design student studio. All right, so I am here at studio. Just finished up at the gym. Um, basically, I have a meeting tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is gonna be a client meeting. I'll video that also. And it is, uh, it's a sales meeting for a new patio. That is gonna, it's a, Pretty big one going in. It's gonna be, it's got two options for them, a 28 and a $24,000 option. They just changed some details there. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. It's actually cool. It's kind of, we've worked with them in the past, putting in a patio for them two years ago. It went really well. And they want us to come back and put in another one. And it's actually my boss from about four years ago when I worked at Ace Hardware, which is really cool. So I use SketchUp for my designing. Maybe that's basic, I don't know. And then I can throw it into, uh, SketchUp has another program called Layout that creates the design software, the design layouts and pre presentations. Really nice. So I'm gonna put that together and email it to myself so I can present it to him. We're doing remote meetings right now. It's like I was saying earlier, um, we, since my brother and I are separated, I'm here at Purdue. And so I have to do all meetings like this remotely, which is fine, makes it a little more technically difficult, but it's okay. We're getting it done. I'll email, oh, I actually already had it done. Whoa, look at that. That's freaking awesome. So you can kind of see here, I have, Presenting this, two different types. This patio, a little for the load. So this will be presented with the rock features. Um, a couple different patio types. These would be the types of stone we'd be using. And then uh, this is a simplified version of it, basically, if, if they don't like uh, taking out, if they, if they don't like all of the details, which is fine. Um, we are just trying to move to where we are creating the most artistic and uh, intricate and interesting designs we possibly can. And uh, one of the reasons we're, hopefully this next year, 2024, maybe 2025, we are we're pursuing a, awards through the Indiana Nursery and Landscape Association. They have several different design and build landscape awards. And I wanna win those, because usually they're won by older guys that uh, have been in business for a long time or big distinguished companies and we are pretty new in the grand scheme of things pretty young i'm only 21 and uh so if i could come in and win a couple of those i think that would bring a lot of credibility into our business especially once we move because we're out of burn indiana pretty small town about 4,000 people two hours from indianapolis but i'd like to get into indianapolis where we can really do a lot of big things, get into a lot of, a lot bigger market. But yeah, this is just kind of us. My brother will do something very similar to this. We're just kind of talking about what we're doing, how we're doing it so that we can look back at these years down the road. And so we can kind of track like, dang, that was really stupid or that was, we did that super inefficiently, or maybe we did that really well and documented, and then we can have people watch these and tell us, dang, you just did that really badly, and uh, we can learn from that. So I have to email this to myself. We'll go from there.